Health Check 10 now at 530. An incredible story to tell you about now. A woman who underwent brain surgery recently in Los Angeles awoke to a huge surprise. Instead of finding a tumor, doctors found something else. John Klemek shows us what it was new at 530. I just didn't imagine any of this. At 26 years old, Yamini Kamranam was already planning her future until she realized last September that something wasn't right. Problems with listening comprehension. If a couple of people were talking in the room, I wouldn't understand what's happening. She says brain doctors near her home in Indiana argued over what she needed. The neurologist, the neurosurgeon is not being practical in your case. And the neurosurgeon would say, the neurologist is not being optimistic in your case. And I'm like... <laughs> Could somebody be educative? <laughs> That's when Yamini's own research led her to the Skull Base Institute in L.A. Right, let me take a look at your incision here. And Dr. Harar Shahinian, who invented what you're about to see. Unlike traditional brain surgery where you're opening the skull and you're putting metal retractors and then you're bringing a microscope to, to see in the depths of the brain, what we're doing is keyhole surgery. Fiber optic technology with digital imagery. It's like a video game. The doc explains. We make the opening right here. Slowly and very delicately, an endoscope reaches into the brain. It's using this natural space. And we advance it, advance it, advance it. Chiseling away at the tumor and revealing something even the doctor has only seen twice in his lifetime. The tumor was actually a teratoma, complete with hair, bone, and teeth. It was Yamini's embryonic twin that never developed. Who's been torturing me <laughs> for the past, I don't know, 26 years. Can you believe it? She's lighthearted about it now, even calls the abnormality her evil twin. But there was good news in it. Your evil twin was <laughs> ugly, but she was not evil. She was benign. No cancer. Yamini is expected to make a full recovery in only three weeks, thanks to what her doctor calls a modern medical marvel.